What is going on, guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about the top three things that I would personally like to see fixed before the game launches next Friday, October the 25th. The first thing would be some of the sound issues. During the beta, the footstep sounds were a lot better. I still feel like sometimes your teammates' footstep sounds were way too loud, but the main issue that I really had was sometimes you could not hear enemies whatsoever. Sometimes an enemy could be within four or five feet of you, six feet, and you could hear them well, and sometimes you could not hear them at all. And this should not have been a problem within the beta because there was no option for dead silence. I would understand if they were wearing dead silence, it'd be a little bit harder to hear them. But just there's some footstep issues and just some game sound issues in general I think that need to be looked at. Another one is sometimes, depending on where you're at on the map, the gun the gun that you're firing is way too loud or your teammate's weapon or your enemy weapon, or the enemy's weapon, no matter what the case may be. Sometimes small confined areas, are, it's very, very loud. The same goes for the VTOL uh, kill streak. The VTOL, whether it's yours, a teammate's, or an enemy's, if you're around that VTOL, if you're under it and you're in pretty close proximity to it, you really cannot hear anything that's going on in the game. You can't hear footsteps. You can't hear uh, you know, gun sounds. You can't even really hear your teammates giving call-outs in a, a PlayStation party chat. It is That kill streak is very loud, and hopefully those things will be looked at. A lot of times, sound the, the better the sound, the better the game plays. Now, I don't want it to be where just everybody can sound whore and just wait, you know, around the corner or anything like that. But at the same time, I think everything needs to be evened out. The next thing I would like to talk about is the peak and lean system. This is going to kind of go with the last point that I'm going to make, and that's about the net code. Now, there is an article and a YouTube video, if you guys have not seen it, that Battle Nonsense made back during the beta or right around the end of the beta talking about the net code in the game. If you have not seen this, definitely check it out. Battle Nonsense always does a great job. They're talking about uh, you know the net code within many different games but if you have not read this or watched the video definitely check it out i will link it down in the description below so you can look for look over it for yourself but it really talks about how there's a lot of delay in the game with small net code problems the first one of course like i said the peak and lean system that has been added in was something that i thought was a, a kind of a new movement mechanic i think it's kind of neat i played rainbow six siege i know it may not be everybody's cup of tea but i played siege so much that it, the peak and lean is is, is pretty useful to me in my opinion but at the same time it's kind of useless in the game because a lot of times you will lean around something and it will show the enemy a lot more of your body than it should be showing or vice versa you've seen the enemy lean around a corner and you can see their chest shoulder head you can see a lot more than you should this is of course a lot of people have linked this and like i said battle nonsense linked this to delay within the game so hopefully that will get fixed because if not what is the purpose of using this new movement mechanic if it's really going to give away your position a lot more than it should and if you're going to be able to get killed easily while leaning there's really no purpose to use it so hopefully that will get looked at and like i said last but not least is just net code in general there was a lot of issues within the game and this was talked about within the video like i said in the article that i'll link down in the description below but the small and medium game modes the team kind of modes were having an overall kind of bad connection problem he said it was pretty much on par with black ops 4 blackout mode which is pretty insane. So if you think about Team Deathmatch, that's six on six. There should be no way possible that the netcode issues for six on six should be the same as Blackout, which is a hundred players. So there is a big netcode problem there. And also he went on to say some of the bigger modes like the 32 versus 32, the 20 on 20, had worse connections than Blackout mode, which should still not be the case considering there are still not as many players even in 32 on 32 as there is in Blackout from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Hopefully these things will get looked at because you can tell when you're playing there were some netcode issues. Like I said, the peak and lean system made it so a lot of times your body would be showing when it shouldn't. A lot of times you can just feel it. You're moving, you go to shoot first, you die first kind of thing. It's just the delay and the millisecond delays between you and the person that you're firing at or the people that are in the lobby in general. And that should not be the case. Yes, it's always going to happen in Call of Duty from time to time. But a lot of people were feeling it game in and game out, and that should definitely not be there. I know a few milliseconds does not sound like a lot, but when you're playing a shooter, a few milliseconds is the difference between you getting a kill or being killed by the enemy. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know the things you would like to see change before the game is released next week. And, of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.